Hey, 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 everybody. It is your girl, Miss Motivational Mogul Mindset, Ava Sheree, the Inspire. I hope you're doing well. I am continuing this series. Uh, forgive my dogs in the background if you hear any noise. Uh, it's so disrespectful. So uh, I'm coming today because I want to make some things perfectly clear so, so that I can support anyone in the best way. When I post anything, I'm spirit led. And I want people to take it serious as far as where you're at with certain things and why you look at certain vloggers or YouTube content or whatever content. And I have had an overwhelming response to not just the views, but the topic of witchcraft. And as I'm doing this series, um, peeling back the layers, taking the masks off, I'm going in increments and steps so that you can reflect on the buildup, how we can sometimes put ourselves in situations and not even know what's on the other side of the mask, what's behind those doors, and how we need to guard our heart, guard ourselves, protect our families from what we expose ourselves to and also what we welcome into our lives and usher into our immediate environment, because those things take up shop. They surveillance in the spirit, especially when it's a negative spirit, like envy, jealous, they survey everything around you to see what they're going to attack, what they're going to latch on to, what they're going to attach themselves to, to have you start to trip. And so when I respond to the witchcraft comments and people wanting to have spells broken and they've cast a love spell on someone and they're worried that it's not breaking, they're worrying about this person becoming obsessed. I've had people email me about the person becoming a stalker, physical um, violence, verbal violence, all kinds of domestic things. And I lead with making sure you're in a safe space and environment and have a supported, trusted network of people that know what's going on. Document, document these things, audio record these things, video these things, do what is necessary to keep you safe, to keep it documented so you have proof because you never know to what extreme things will go. So I always make sure that in my comments, they're lengthy because I'm giving it to you, not scripted. I'm giving it to you as I would if I was sitting across in a session with you. When I worked as a mental health clinician, um, I'm giving it the same way I'm held at the same standard. I can't govern everything and nor does everyone tell us coaches or mental health clinicians, therapists, whatever. They don't tell us everything. They only tell us in part. And some of us have a strong spiritual nature where we can pick up on the things and connect the dots, like things not adding up. So sometimes someone will reach out to me about spiritual warfare, curses, love spells, and they'll tell me just a glimpse because one, it's public platform. So I wouldn't suggest anyone disclosing all of their information on a public platform. Two, sometimes I'll respond and say, I won't even ask certain questions in my reply to the comment because I know that spirits pick up on energy, weaknesses, and latch on to people that are doubtful, that are unbelievers, that are weak in their spirit and have low discernment. And they use that as prey. So they'll come and they'll watch and they're surveillance and they're like predators. They're look and see. They'll develop friendships based off of a social media platform. You don't know who's really behind that mask, who's really behind that door. You don't know what you're getting, but these people know what they're doing. These spirits operate and use people that are already functioning under a guise, a disguise, a mask. So I'm looping this all in into the series, but I wanted to pit stop here because I've had an influx of um, em emails and messages and comments. And again, my co my replies are long because I'll close those doors. It's certain things that the Holy Spirit instructs me to do to close the doors. One, so they won't come back and attack you even stronger if you got your hand out of it. Now, don't play with me. If you sitting there still playing with those things, I had a person playing with Ouija boards and asking people to cast all these spells because they're mad, they're bitter, or they want this person. Listen, don't call me and act like it didn't happen because the power I'm operating in, it's going to change. It's going to nullify those things. 
and it's going to be a tug of war with you or anyone who continues to put their hand on it. So when I respond, I don't apologize for being lengthy because the context of it is to get you through. Um, I don't play around with warfare because it's so real. And I want you to be able to take the nuggets that I give you to carry them and apply bits and parts of it until you fully understand the power of what it is that you've done <laughs> and the power of what it takes to undo it and to be free and released from it and delivered. I had another qu good question about, should someone openly admit to the person they cast a spell on? Because now they're over them and this person is all up in their face and they don't want them. And I suggested, just like the word says about forgiveness, forgiveness is freeing for you and your spirit as well as the other person, just like a release. And we are commissioned to forgive others and also seek forgiveness when we have an opportunity. But even in that, I'm not hasty to reply. I have to wear my spiritual hat at all times. So I'm handling people as if they're believers. I'm handling people as if they know they're not a God, as if they're breaking from idolatry, as if they've acknowledged their wrongdoings and God has given them the grace that he gives all of us when we mess up. And so I'm speaking to you from a standpoint always of that, because when it's all said and done, nothing of this world can spare your life and save your life other than your angels that's dispatched to you and the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So at the end of the day, I'm not speaking from a natural standpoint when it comes to when I say I pray. I pray those things in that moment. I pray those things and it is activated. I petition. I send the prayers up for you immediately. I just don't have the time to go back and forth about certain things because the Negative spirits, dark energy, demonic energy wants you to get distracted and sidetracked with all the religious hoopla and what is what and what it ain't. You have to experience that for yourself. I hope that everybody believes there is a God. of all, There's one God of all gods and that I hope that you have a relationship with him. And that is my desire. I'm speaking into you from a standpoint of not having the fear that will cancel out your faith. And doubting does that as well. So... There is power in words, as we know. I told that person to ask God to forgive them, repent from their sins, turn away from any evil doing and anyone attached to you that's doing it, as well as if you had an opportunity to seek forgiveness from the person that you've done wrong to with anything, do it. However, if they don't receive it, keep it pushing. That's all you have to do. However, mean it in your heart so you can close that door and be released. And how they trip off of it after that is on them. But if you're not sure if it's a safe space to do that or if that person is mentally ill and sometimes demons overtake the mind and make it unsafe for you to even go back around, don't worry about that. Stay away from them. You pray for that person. Because you want that person to be well for themselves and well for others. You want to start to cancel out the things that you've experienced with the person. So God forbid anyone else has to go behind that door with those masks and are subjected to any type of mistreatment that you may have faced dealing with that person. Today was just really a pit stop after the last vlog. This is the part three. And just what actually manifests dealing with people and entities that you really don't know you're dealing with because they're hiding behind masks. It's not a one thing, hit a quit a fixer upper. It takes time for some people to realize what they're dealing with. And it takes others a short amount of time. They don't ignore the red flags off jump, but it is something in that person that finds out quickly that they've already gone through to know, I, I, nope, that ain't it. Nope. I seen that before. Nope. And as you gain knowledge, as you become wiser, as you make mistakes and missteps, hopefully you'll start to lessen how long you stick around those things. Call them out, cast them out, keep it pushing, spiritually cleanse your house and things of that nature. And speaking of that, another person was upset, <laughs> upset recently in a coaching call that they had to get rid of everything that that person gave them that they kept trying to figure out why they was obsessing over this person, lusting over this person, felt like they were nothing without this person. And I said, what do you have 
And this wasn't the first time I did. I did it with someone very close to me. And I said, get rid of every item, expensive, inexpensive, any memory that's romanticizing your brain when you get on them lonely nights and you sitting over there in your bed by yourself, hopefully, because ain't nothing about leaving one person and getting up on another is true, child. You just carry spirit from spirit to spirit. So you need a break to heal. You need a break to realize your takeaway, hold yourself accountable before you set up shop somebody else. Okay. So anyway, I advise them to get do a flush, ask the Holy Spirit to come in and sweep your house, sweep your mind of those thoughts. But it's little things that remind us like anniversary dates, birthdays, where we used to travel, where you went to movies, where you went to concerts, where you had family gatherings. But it's also items that are significant to your, your memory and they trigger something. And depending on where you are and how strong you are in that process of detaching from these spirits that had a stronghold over you, it makes the difference whether you waver, whether you doubt yourself, whether you doubt the abuse, whether you doubt the mistreatment, whether you go back and play with it a little bit and see if that person has decided to value and change for the better. But you have to understand in those moments that you are worthy, that you don't have to seek that kind of change when you've been the one mistreated and mishandled. Change happens and is attracted to you because you're actually changing. You're actually saying, hell no, this ain't going to work for me. And when they change, you'll attract it. But you'll also be tested by similar spirits like that person to make sure you're no longer unwise, to make sure you're sharpened now, to make sure you're aware now. So you're going to be tested and it might come in a different package. You're going to think they're different. And this is the miracle man. This is the miracle woman. This is the one you prayed for. But let me tell you, don't ignore yourself. Don't ignore your gut intuition. Don't ignore any flags. And if you're a great person, don't ignore your output. What you put out is what you should expect from others and more. Boom, period. That's just how it goes. So I'm going to stop right there because I don't want these to be too lengthy. Um, however, I know this is necessary because I'm not in fear for people, especially because I know the power that resides within us all for good and not evil. I want you to be real with yourself. I want you to cut off the madness. I want you to stop placing blame on the other person. I want you to pick up your power, take away the message and the learning lesson for you, because that is where your power is in your takeaway and holding yourself accountable. If we don't, we're going to act like we don't know any better. We're going to act like we're immature. We're going to act like a kid that don't know better. And that's not what we're doing nowadays because we're too grown. And it's a lot of things going on right now when it comes to mental health disorders and narcissism and gaslighting. First, it was gaslighting, but in the spirit world, it's scrambling your spirit. And then it, it's narcissism. But behind narcissism is a bunch of um, spirits that's attached to that to give it a public world name. But in the spirit, it's trickery. It's treacherous trickery. It's manipulative, deceptive practices. So... Woo! I'm going to pray on this, how that's going to be delivered to you guys um, in the near, near future. And I'm going to pray on the next vlog. I'm not going to say right now what it will be, but I want you all to detach, pull away, scale back on what you allow to have access to you. Because right now, things are revved up for whatever reason. But some of us know why some of us are just going through the motion. But I want you to be encouraged. I want you to know you are more powerful. I want you to know that there is angels dispatched to you. There is a God that is waiting for you to bring him into your life and bring him into your heart and give over everything that we've done wrong because we sin daily. Give it all over to him. He wants to lessen our burden. He wants to help carry the things that we can't understand. He wants to give us understanding. He wants to order our steps. He wants to protect us with a hedge of protection to Make sure that we are only focused on him, not idolatry, not putting other people, other things before him. He is a jealous God. So I wanted to leave on that note. Be encouraged, be empowered. No, we're not, not even me, super strong every day. But I swear to you, if you push through in truth, if you push through taking a hard look at yourself, you ain't got time to be worried about nobody else but you. And it's okay to make yourself a priority, especially in healing, especially in deliverance, and especially in your faith. Stay grounded and trust God. Until next time, this is your girl, Miss Motivational Mogul Mindset, Ava Sheree, the Inspire. God's love and God's peace to you all.